Mother's Day. Welcome Floss Tube friends. I am Lisa and this is my channel Cross by Floss where I share the love of cross stitching and have a lot of life blabbings. So let's get into life blabbings. Today is May 9th and it is Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day to all of you who are either moms to two-legged peoples or four-legged furbies or fishies or whatever, whatever you are a mom to and you love, happy Mother's Day to you. It is also a twofer for us because it is my little granddaughter's birthday today and she turns 10. So I jokingly told her that she is now in double digits for pretty much the rest of her life. Unless she lives to 101 and then, you know, or 100, I guess. And then, you know, she'll go into triple digits. But pretty much. Yep, double digits. <laughs> for a long time. <laughs> uh, she thought that was actually pretty cool. So, um, what has happened this week? Oh my goodness. Um, so, last, actually quite a bit has happened this last couple of weeks. Mr. G is home for Mother's Day and the Little's birthday today. He um, had to drop off a load this morning and so he came in super early and he'll be leaving tomorrow on Monday super early so um, but it's nice that he got some downtime and he's here with us so to celebrate which is really nice and um, you also won't hear Mr. Odin today because he is with Mr. G and um, so you won't hear Odin snoring today so yay for that. <laughs> I got replaced. Mm -hmm. And then what else happened? So last week, last weekend, um, I was supposed to do a Stitch With Me video, but my son, uh, the one who lives in Oregon, texted me on Friday night and asked if I was coming up. Because I had, you know, kind of mentioned casually that maybe I would come up on the weekend. And I was like, oh, did you want me to? And he goes, well, yeah. And I was like, well, if you want me to, of course I will be there. And then bonus, side bonus, acorns and threads trip, right? So I'm like, yes, please. And um, so he lives about an hour and a half, give or take, from um, from acorns and threads. So yeah, it was it was a good good day to be in the car for sure. So because there was a lot of driving. So I went out there and I spent um, Saturday and Sunday with him. And he was, um, yeah, he was so sweet. So I went to Acorns and Threads on Saturday and got there. There was a line. Oh my goodness. There was a line, but um, uh, it wasn't long at all. But um, so that was nice. And I was there until just before closing, I think, um, at four o'clock, I think they closed. And uh, so that was, that was nice. And then on my way in, um, I took the boy shopping for groceries and then we went for dinner and then on Sunday he was so sweet he was like what would you like to do and I said well I really want to go to the, the antique mall and he goes okay and you know that boy he spent hours with me in the antique mall not once did he complain about how long it was taking he never sighed he didn't try to hurry me up he was just like patiently went from booth to booth on his phone but, you know, just kind of hung around and looked at some stuff every once in a while and kind of giggled and, and uh, I picked up some things and, and it was, it was a really nice day spent with him. So, um, I'm glad I got to do it and I will be doing it again in June. So, um, because I have to have another trip to Acorns and Threads and, um, yeah, it's all, it's all, it's all a nice little trip. So I did that last weekend instead of a video. So that's why I was absent last weekend. Um, but, you know, time well spent with a child. And that's so much more. So much more. So important. So important. And um, what else did I do? Oh, you'll notice that there's a new plant back here. This is Ursula, my umbrella plant. And um, apparently she wants more light than I was giving her. And uh, so I'm hoping... Um, that she's going to do better down here because um, the the window is right here and she's getting direct sunlight for sure or direct light and so hopefully that's going to help her a lot because I've lost half of her like since I bought her I've lost la half of her so yeah 
<laughs> so that's why you see a new plant. Um, she's on the table behind me. I need to redo a little bit around here and figure out how to, um, yeah, just how to make this a little bit more cohesive, I think. So there's that. And uh, what else? Um, well, I, oh, I want to uh, say thank you so much. Um, in my last video, I talked about how I put a Buy Me a Coffee link in my description. And um, that Buy Me a Coffee link has really uh, helped me with finishing, um, whether it's, you know, pillow finishes or like those are finishes I don't know how to do, flat folds, that kind of thing or um, framing because that's super expensive. So I just wanna say a very special thank you to Pat for um, for the buy me a coffee. That was very sweet of you and um, I appreciate it. So thank you so much. Um, and that link will be down in my description below um, if you would like to help me out. So that's awesome, thank you. And um, what what else? I think, I think that that's it. I mean, today's Mother's Day. I'm going to finish this video and then um, we, my son and Mr. G and Odin and myself are all going to the little's house, my daughter's house, and um, to celebrate her birthday over there, but also Mother's Day. So I have um, a gift for my daughter and which involves plants, of course, because we're now like plant ladies. <laughs> So that, but I have, so, okay, cute story. So on Friday, I asked my granddaughter what she wanted for lunch. And she goes, well, what do you have? We go through this every day. And I said, well, I have hamburger or rice or pasta and chicken or um, fried rice. And she is like, well, we're having hamburgers on Sunday for my birthday. And I said, oh, cool. And she goes, yeah, because the other three things I wanted were vetoed. And I said, oh, what did you want? And she goes, she named off, you know, um, she named off like a restaurant that's actually close to me. And I said, well, I understand that, honey, because, you know, it would be cold by the time we brought it to your house. If we were coming to my house to celebrate, that would be a great, a great place to go. And she goes, yeah, I understand. And I said, and what was the second thing? And she goes, your spaghetti sauce. And I'm like, well, how come you can't have grammy spaghetti sauce? And she says, well, because mom said that you probably wouldn't want to spend all day making it because it is a process. And I said, oh, and I said, now what was your third thing? And she goes, menchies. And I'm like, well, baby girl, um, ice cream isn't dinner. And she goes, well, I know, but it's still what I want for my birthday. <laughs> I'm like, uh-huh. And I said, so do you want Grammy spaghetti sauce for your birthday? And she goes, yeah. And she looks at me and she goes, will you make it? And I said, if my baby girl asks for spaghetti sauce for her birthday, spaghetti sauce she shall have. <laughs> So I have spent all morning making spaghetti sauce. It is now simmering. It's uh, it's about four hours to make spaghetti sauce. So I only make it on special occasions when it's asked for. And um, my kids love it. So I make almost quadruple batches and it goes in the freezer. And um, to be, it actually tastes better the next day um, or after it's frozen. So. Um, my kids, my kids love it and, but I don't make it often cause it's kind of expensive to make and it's all from scratch. And so, yeah. So anyways, the little is getting spaghetti sauce and she is thrilled that she's going to get spaghetti sauce. So, <laughs> so that's what I'm, that's what I, we're going to do today. So how about we talk about stitching? So this video is not going to be more about the stitching than it is about the haul you guys like really it is all about the haul so we'll we'll talk about that but i have a finish i have a finish it's a little finish um let me try and put my coffee down where it's not gonna spill um i finally finished what should have been april's uh monthly orny cell hashtag monthly orny cell and um on instagram and I finally finished it. So it is now May and I need to find my May piece and um, get that started and hopefully finished and I don't have another fail <laughs> for a monthly uh, ornament. But here it is. It's all done. Um, I love it. I love it. I love these Prairie Schooler um, pieces. They're just so awesome. So um, 
yeah, I finished this up just the other night, so super proud of it. And um, that means that this will be the share for um, this video. So if you are interested in this little pattern here, it's just the card, that's all you're getting um, with the, the pattern on it, obviously, but it's just tiny. Um, if you are interested in this, let's say boo in your comments, B-O-O, -O, boo, because it says boo on it. So if you're interested, that's going to be the share for this video. And um, speaking of shares of the video, last video I did that um, Witch Witch was the giveaway and um, Katie did stitches was the winner and I haven't heard from Katie yet. So Katie, you have two more weeks. Um, and then when my next video goes up, if you have not contacted me, um, down below is my information. If you haven't contacted me, I'm gonna have to draw again. So um, but yeah, so I finished that. Now, what I worked on for the last couple of weeks, um, everybody with a needle knows uh, that Brenda and Laura of uh, Brenda and the Serial Starter um, did a Blackbird Weekend Sal, and it was hashtag BBD Weekend Sal. And um, there were a lot of people who, who um, were in that weekend there were some oh my goodness the eye candy of patterns in there were just if you are looking for blackbirds and you know what people are working on um go check out the hashtag bbd weekend sal it is just eye candy oh my goodness but this is the piece that i chose to work on and i had thought that i would do two for the weekend um may 1st was my grandma's birthday she would have been 99 years old and, um, and so I have been doing this piece, uh, because it reminds me of her. And so I thought it was so fitting to work on this piece while, um, for that weekend. But because I also went to my son's for the weekend, I, um, didn't have an opportunity to do another start. So this is the one that I worked on for that weekend. And, um... I only got a little bit done. I didn't do as much also as I had hoped because again, um, I was at his place and um, I got in late and you know, stitching time wasn't, we were talking, but I did get a bit done. I finished, what did I, I um, got another part of the um, wing in I feel like I did some other stuff. I put in um, some more of the vines here. I believe I finished this here. I'm not sure, but it's getting there. It is getting there. The one thing that I'm, I'm thinking about though is that I might take out this, um, this color here because it just doesn't stand out. And, um, yeah, possibly. I don't know. I'm going to put the windows in and see if maybe that helps, but I don't see it very well. So, um, but I love this piece. It is so pretty and it is worked on all weeks or called for, which I believe is all weeks. I'm pretty sure it's all weeks. Yes. Weeks die works. And, um, so such a pretty piece. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. And, um, every time I work on it, I just, I see my grandma I hear my grandma and I just, yeah, I love it. Love it. Um, then the next piece that I worked on and really I just actually started it last night was this is my whip go piece for May. And I think that this is, was it 22 or 21? Whatever numbers that were called for this month, 19 and 22, something like that. Um, 19 is cinnamon stars and I still have not found my cinnamon stars I don't know where it went it is crazy but um the other one that was called was this sampler Mary Bates 1796 you can't see that very well can you let's see that might help a little um it is a beautiful sampler 
I had the hardest time trying to figure out some fabric because it was the fabric that was called for was um, R and R Reproductions uh, Light Exemplar. Let's see here. Maybe it was on the back of this. Um, R and R Reproductions Espresso or Lakeside Linens Vintage Light Exemplar. And I don't have either um, because I don't work on linens. And so I went online to kind of have a look at what they were because this picture, this photo on this does not do this pattern justice in any way, shape or form. No. And, um, and so I went on and had a look at what those colors would have been and I decided I chose a piece of um, 18 count, 18 count vintage country mocha. Um, I just, uh, I like it and I'm using the model -y, the more model -y side. And so that's what I got done yesterday. I started in the outer border. There's two borders to this. So the outer border and this motif here. And um, if you notice in the picture, I can't see, sorry. But you see that there's an outer border and then that and then another, the inner border. So there's two borders and at first, so I also struggled with a piece of fabric that was in my stash that was going to be wide enough. I had lots that were long enough, but not lots that were wide enough. And um, I finally got this one that is a 21, which gave me a three inch border, which I like. And at first I was like, okay, well maybe I will just take out the motif and this border and just start with the inner border and just call it good. But I really feel like it, needs both borders and I love borders so I don't mind doing borders so I love this it's so pretty so that's what I got started and so I worked a couple of hours on that last night and um, if I can't find cinnamon stars I'm going to use all 20 hours this month to work on this piece because I truly love it love it and then um, May is Stitch Mania, and I know I've talked about this before, but Mania is whatever you make it. Um, you know, when they when Mania started, it was with the intent of, in 2015, was when it was started, and it was, you know, start 15 whips. And, um, and then the following year and following year, well, people have started making it whatever they wanted to make it. And uh, this year I decided also to make it what I kind of wanted to make it. I think I've done that almost every year except for one. I did actually follow the, I think it was 2018 that I did 18 starts. I don't remember though. Um, but I did do one year that I did all the starts and I was like, oh, that's a lot of starts. Um, but for this mania, I am doing mirror mania because I have a love of mirrors and um, I have more in my, my haul because <laughs> I can't stop. Um, and so uh, I decided to do this uh, mirror mania. And so each Monday I am going to vlog style uh, a mirror and it's going to be a new mirror. So I work on the mirror Monday through Friday and then um, do daily you know, vlogs and then upload that either late Friday night or early Saturday morning and show the progress for the week. And I am so happy I did it. It was actually a lot of fun. Um, it was fun to see the progress every day as I was editing the video. And I'm like, wow, I actually did get some stuff done on that. So it was kind of fun to do. So the mirror that I chose is Red by uh, Mirabilia. And I love red. I love red. I've seen her done in blue and green. And I believe I saw her done as a purple. And they're all stunning, but her name's Red. And I just feel that she needs to stay red. And um, and that's actually why her I bought her was because she just, I mean, her face is beautiful. Her face is just beautiful. And I just, I just loved her. As soon as I saw her, Red is who she is. And so um, while I appreciate the... Um, variations of the other ones and they're beautiful 
for me, red is red. So I am working her on this big piece of fabric by Color and Cotton. It is called Colonnade or Colonnade. I'm not entirely sure how you pronounce it. And I am working from the bottom up on this pattern because it was too much trouble for me <laughs> to try and figure out how to count over enough, keep my three inch border, do all the things and count her over to start her from the top. And yes, I could have, and I used to be a middle starter and um, my previous mirrors that I had started before I did floss two were middle starters, middle starts. And, um, and I like a middle start, but I decided to go from the bottom up because that's where a center was and it was really easy to tell and it was a good block of color and um, it was perfect. So that is what I got done on my Mira. She is beautiful. But what really surprised me, and I talked about this in my Mira uh, video or my vlog video, is that, for sakes, let's see here. There is brown. Can you see that? There is brown in, there's two shades of brown in with the red, but it just blends so beautifully together that when I first pulled it out, I was like, oh goodness, is that a mistake? So I go onto the, you know, uh, Witch Health website, the Mirabilia website, and I look to see, you know, if there had been any um, updates and um, no, it it's supposed to be brown and but at first I was like okay that just can't be right with the black but it blends so beautifully so um I am sad that I'm putting her away because I I really enjoyed working on her but I mean she's gonna come out again let's not lie and uh but I have a new mirror for Monday so I hope that you will join me and um see my my progress when that gets loaded up next weekend so or Friday night whenever whenever it happens that's it that is it for whips and that is it for a finish everything else is haul you guys and it's it's a little disturbing and in fact it's so disturbing that yesterday when I was at my LNS yes I went to my LNS yet again um even though I did a very large shopping trip to Acorns and Threads last weekend, um, I I was standing there thinking, at some point, Lisa, you probably need to stop buying patterns because you have so many patterns, you are never getting to them. And while you may love them all, there's no way you're going to be able to touch them all. So... <laughs> was a fleeting thought <laughs> all right um so I got lucky and was able to jump on the dying to stitch um uh quaint country ladies um club <laughs> I don't know why that was so difficult words that that in and out um, okay, so let me try again. Dying to Stitch Quaint Country Ladies Club and by Pineberry Lane. And um, so I I was thrilled. I got in. In fact, I so wanted to get in. I jumped the gun. I like put in a 2020 um, uh, membership form um, before it had even opened because I thought that it was on a day and so I wanted to make sure that I got in this club. I love Pineberry Lane and um, the Quaint Ladies Club just it tickles my fancies and um, now it comes kitted with linen and the floss and as well as the pattern and of course I knew I wasn't going to use the linen um, but I'm okay with that. So, um, that linen may go up in a giveaway sometime in the future. <laughs> so we're kind of going to kind of go through like the clubs and then, um, the other stuff. So Garon Toten Bags, monthly, um, bag and it is gorgeous. It is so colorful. Look at how beautiful and colored that is. 
And um, he is now, Ronnie is now offering two different sizes. And I love the big size. I love the big size. But I have so many of them. And, um, and so I decided to go, I went down to the, the second size that they're offering. And then, um, I, I'm pretty sure I had heard a rumor, but everybody also in the club received one of the accessory bags, um, which is just so generous, uh, Ronnie and I mean, Gary and Ronnie are just so incredibly generous and sweet and kind and um yeah i i love i love their updates i just they're just so sweet and so if you are interested in a garon toten bag um you know contact them i do know that there is a wait list or i'm fairly certain that there's a wait list um, ronnie does everything he can to accommodate though i do know that and um and I do also know that once a month they um, sell bags on their website. They do an update of those on their website. So check that out too if you're interested in a gear on Toten bag. And believe me, well worth it. Well worth it. There are a few um, bag sellers, that, uh, project bag sellers that I frequent. And gear on Toten bags is definitely one of them. And I will promote the heck out of um not that they probably need promotion everybody knows who they are <laughs> okay and then the other thing is i um i got myself on the wait list for the floss frenzy club and um both of them opened and by the time that i got everything in i missed out on the classic color works one so i got in the weeks the weeks um Floss Frenzy and um, so for April and um, so that was really awesome and they're all kind of like reds and um, so I'm always looking for a week's like every time I open up a, a another um, Blackbird design or something it's like I need this color and I'm like how do I not have that color I have you know 150 skeins of Weak Style Works, but I don't have that one. <laughs> so hopefully through this club, I will eventually get there. So that was that was awesome. I was really excited to get into that club. Now hopefully I can get into the Classic Color Works. No, yes, yes, and um, and getting that one as well. And then the Color and Cotton um, April fabric of the month came. Oh my gosh, it is gorgeous. It is so beautiful. It is called Spiced Honey. I am in their 16 count Ada club and it's beautiful. This is just absolutely gorgeous. So I was thrilled to see that. Again, another beautiful sampler color. And this is a really nice sampler color. Like it, it is almost... um. It's very agey looking and um, yeah, I love it, love it. Okay, then um, everybody knows who Helen D is, right? And I faithfully, faithfully watch Helen D. And um, if you haven't seen her latest video where she did the beaded, um, the beaded trim on her, one of her pillows, it's beautiful. And I know she um, got the idea. Uh, she gave credit to uh, Audrey Stitchy Witch 42. And, um, and, but it was really nice to see a, a tutorial because um, that finishes, it just really adds a little to the pillow. But anyways, um, I, I um, watch Helen D faithfully and she has talked about this uh, store that she buys from called Cobweb Corner. And so, um, and then she had showed a couple of patterns, I believe that she was giving away for that, for that video. And I was like, well, mm, chances are I'm probably not going to win those patterns. So I'm going to go on to Cobweb Corner and see if she has them. So I did. And then she also, Helen also does this, you know, when she, um, buys from this store you know the owner will send a little goodie bag and everything 
I was kind of looking forward to a little goodie bag and I didn't get a little goodie bag, but it's okay. It's okay. I have enough goodies in my house and I need to stop eating goodies. But I mean, I got a cute little sticker that, you know, the little has stolen. So in fact, I had to grab it from her grubby little hands um, to do the video. So, <laughs> but the uh, patterns that Helen showed were, um, by Jeanette Douglas, and I've never seen these, and it's a most suitable name series. And when I did a little research, um, these were shown at uh, Nashville in 20, I'm gonna get it wrong, 2014, 15, something like that. Um, something like that. And uh, she had released a few. So I got lucky and I got a few but I did not get them all because she was sold out. It looks like there's eight or nine patterns and I have five of them. So I'm, I'm now on the hunt for these patterns, but they're very primish and I love them. This one is Button Betty, Button Betty. And then this is Devoted Dorothy. And one of my grand, great aunt's name was Dorothy. That's my grandpa's sister. And um, we used to call her Dodo. And um, and so uh, this this is, yeah, Devoted Dorothy. I just, I loved it. And then um, Humble Hilda. Love that. And then Nimble Nettie. I mean, how cute is that? Oh, glare. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And then um, Modest Mildred love it I love it so now I'm on the hunt there's um there's an a I don't remember what they are something Abigail um anyways I'm on, now on the hunt for those additional patterns and then while I was going through her site she's got some um uh clearance charts ones that she's got like um either make an offer or they're such a low price. So I got this, this little Cedar Hill cross stitch um, sampler, um, cheap, 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 just a little tiny. Uh, I believe that it was, uh, might be a freebie sampler, a freebie, st I don't know. Anyways, that came and then um, she had a Nora Corbett Emmy and she's beautiful and I did not have her. And so um, I was able to get her and I also was able to get the bead pack for her as well. And um, my daughter's name is Emily and I always call her Emmy. And um, so I just thought that that was, that was really cool and I love the colors in her. I mean, look at her stockings in green and black. And um, yeah, she's just beautiful. Her blues, they're beautiful. So I got that from Cobweb Corner and service was awesome. Service was awesome. I definitely, definitely would buy from again. And then I did a um, Fat Corner Shop um, order and um, because they had some Anne of Green Gables fabric. Now what I'm going to do with this fabric, who knows yet but um I had to have it because it was Anne of Green Gables so um I got this this one here it is beautiful and then I got um the squares are these five inch yeah five inch stackers I mean look at how pretty why am I getting there we go um they're so pretty so pretty yeah Mm -mm -mm. So I had to get that because even though I don't sew, I love some fabric. <laughs> and then I got a 27 count Linda in the vintage country mocha. I mean, look at how small those holes are. Those are small holes. But uh, I work on a 25 easy count, so 27... I don't know. We'll see. I mean, actually the holes are 
I, I can see them. So with naked eye, so without magnifiers. So I'm going to try because I have some samplers that are big, but if I do them in an 18 count, um, if I do it, I, I would do this Linda one over one. Um, so it was a small size. Um, because if I did it in half, that would be what, 13 and a half? Well, I might as well go to a 14 count Ada, right? So, um, which would still be too big for some of the samplers. So trying to make them a little smaller and, um, cause you know, limited wall space. So oh, clearly there is nothing on the walls back here. <laughs> And then I also picked up Brenda Gervais's um, Love Notes. I'd been looking for this pattern for a little bit and um, I was able to get that. And then uh, Little Deeds Sampler by The Scarlet House. And funny, every time I went to go get this pattern, it got sold out every single time. I had it in my cart and then, you know, would go to like do an update or whatever and it was gone. So, um, Fat quarter shot. Thank you. Got it there. And then um, I found this pattern, and I, I don't know how it came up, but um, Hands to Work Revisited, uh, Patience 1898. Ooh, that's really ugly. And, um, and I just thought that this was so pretty. And so I picked that up. And then Irish Kisses by Lindsay Waite, Primrose Cottage Stitches. It's called Irish Kisses. Okay, I'm going to have to maybe take these out of the... There we go. So pretty. And look at how she did the finish on the back in, in a pillow. It's just beautiful. Oh, I mean, I guess it was on the front too. Looking at the pattern, Lisa. <laughs> Doing a good job. <laughs> And then um, Be In My Bonnet Stitch Cards, the uh, Halloween one. I think I watched um, Job Girl Stitches and she had done these as pillow finishes. I believe it was her and absolutely beautiful. And I was like, mm -hmm. I mean, you guys all know how I feel about Halloween. Oh, these could be some ornaments for the monthly Orny Sal they'd be real easy too because they're, they're small. They'd be small. So um, I got that. So that was everything I believe I got in the mail. Let's see here. Yes. Then, then I went to Acorns and Threads and I got me a bag because <laughs> you need to have a bag when you go to Acorns and Threads. And then Oh my goodness, there's so much. Do you see that? There's a lot of goodies in there. Here, maybe that way. There's a lot of goodies in there. It was, you guys, it was a trip. So, <laughs> and you know, I was just going into, what was I going in for? Uh... Oh, I was going in to see if they had some floss, which of course they did. Um, so I did, I picked up a bunch of flosses, a bunch, there's a bunch of them in here. Actually, there's quite a few flosses. Let's see here, a lot of flosses. Um, but they are for kits that um, either I was missing that or I'm in the process of kitting up. And then, because you know I don't have enough fabric in my life, I had to buy some more fabric. And so I got some more fabrics, all Ada. Um, I got like platinum 18 count because I love that as a sampler um, color. Uh, natural light. 16 count. This one is a 20 count in, in Whisper. Nice kind of lightish gray, really nice. Um, some more platinum, some more gray, and what's this one? 
this one. Oh, okay. This is a 20 count Lugana um, in ivory. And, but it just feels so nice. And again, the holes are nice and big. So I'm going to try this because I do have some 18, uh, 18 and 20 and 22 count Ada, but I'm going to try this Lugana as well. It's, it's not um, as stiff as you guys all know. I'm still an Ada girl, never changing that. But I almost feel that this is like very similar to an Ada, like the holes, the holes in this 20 are no different than the holes in this Ada 20. So, at least to me, maybe they are, and but I am not a, I am not a fabric expert in any way, shape, or form. And then, of course, I had to buy another Mira. I almost feel like I have this one though, Butterfly Fairy. Um, oh, she's so. And I bought, ooh, I got the bead pack for uh, Lily Pad Sprite and Nora Corbett um, that I already have in my, my stash. I did not have the beads though. And I love when they're all packaged like this because you know you're getting everything and it just makes it so much more helpful. And then of course, another Nora Corbett green lady slipper is she not beautiful yes she is yes she is i love her yeah <laughs> and then let's see here let's get them organized i did not organize very well okay um a couple more scarlet houses uh, the scarlet scarlet house this is hannah's brownstone That's so lovely. And then um, Charlotte Murdoch, 1815. I mean, I had to get it because of the dogs. Is such a cute sampler. So cute. And the colors in there. I mean, it's just, oh, yeah, I had to buy it because of the dogs. And then y'all know how I feel about buy all the plum streets. Um, on Prudence, I don't know that I'd seen this one before, or maybe I had, I'm not sure, but that is one beautiful sampler and kind of large. She is 303 by 263. I just, I, what am I thinking, you guys? What am I thinking? I'm going to get that done though, because look at that border. I mean, for real, look at that border. It's beautiful. And then um, Acorns and Threads has an exclusive Plum Street um, called Good Company. And so, of course, I had to get that. And it was really funny because right when you walk in the store, there is a, um, a turn uh, display of just all Plum Streets. And... I'm looking and looking and looking for, you know, good company because that's one that I, I actually went in there for that as well as some flosses and I couldn't find it. And I'm like, Oof. so finally I had to ask Janine and I was like, um, do you guys not have that anymore? And she, I mean, I was not even a foot and a half away from it. It was on the counter. I mean, if she could have been hiding it in plain sight any better, I don't know. But, <laughs> but I did, I had to go get that because look at how cute that is. And they have, um, a sample of somebody had stitched this and on very, very tiny count, very tiny count. And it was so little. Oh my gosh. It was so cute. It was so cute. And then, um, Jeanette Douglas, a Canadian patriot, the Canadian patriotic sampler I had to get because you guys all know that I am Canadian and um, while I am doing a um, American sampler, I'm going to also do the Canadian sampler and put them side by side. I'm also doing another Canadian sampler by um, Tiny Modernist. Oh man, did I get that wrong? Mm -hmm. Maybe 
I don't, I don't remember. And again, I've lost that one too. You guys, I have misplaced about four patterns. I don't know where they are. <laughs> That's not good. That is not good. I think maybe Odin's taking them. I'm going to blame him because, you know, it's like your homework. The dog ate it. I'm going to say he's hiding my patterns somewhere. Um, but I did have to pick this one up because even though my daughter decided to get naturalized, which I'm very proud of her, very happy, and I'm going to do a little, a little American thingy for her. Um, I want her to remember her Canadian roots. <laughs> And then, of course, I had to pick up Souvenirs of Summer, um, the Blackbird Design new, new book that was released. And of course, I picked it up because of this pattern here, which I had been looking for for quite some time, um, which is absolutely beautiful. But there's just so many more. I mean, this one is gorgeous. I mean, pretty much everything in here is just gorgeous. So um, well worth the price of the book. Um, always always worth the price of a book so I picked that up that was my acorns and threads trip and the great thing was is you know I get on up there and I'm like so I actually have a coupon book I haven't used it for the previous four months but I'm in here doing it today and I said and I have no idea what the special is and she goes oh it's 20% off for your total in May and I'm like say what that made it even better <laughs> So that's what I got there. Then yesterday, I went to my l &S. Do I remember what I went to my l &S for? Yes, for beads, for the Mira. I'm gonna start this, this uh, Monday. I needed to get some beads for her. So while I'm in there, of course, I had to um, pick up some more Flosses, and I was looking for a red for a sampler that I purchased online. And um, I decided that Buckeye, is it Buckeye Scarlet by Gentle Arts? So I picked up, I'm hoping, enough skeins of that. And then guess who had Black Crow in? Yes, she did. And pretty sure I bought them all. I'm not going to lie. Yes, I was a little piggy pants, but I have been needing this for several of my blackbirds and I finally got some. So, and then while I was there, I was like, can I, do I, do I need more fabric? Fabric. Lisa, do you need more fabric? Yes. Yes, I do. The answer is yes. And, um, so I picked up, uh, uh, 16 count sage. This is also for one of the mirrors that is going to come up. And then again, some Icelandic beige. I think that this is such a perfect color. It's such a perfect color for, um, for samplers. And then while she was pulling out, cause I was looking for French lace and she didn't have any, but she's putting it on order for me. So, um, so in 16 count and um but while she was pulling out all of the neutrals for 16 count she had a few pieces left this one is soft mocha I purchased the last of it she has no more soft mocha um also purchased the last of these it was so funny because I'm like okay Denise I'm gonna take them all and she's like are you sure and I'm like yes I'm taking them all this one is Antique Mushroom. Also love this one. Oh, that color does not do it justice. This, again, perfect sampler, 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 sampler. I wish I could find some more of this. I'm hoping she's going to order some more of it. I'm really hoping she is. So, because that one's perfect. And then this one here, this one's Light Mocha. So I got a piece of that as well, or the, the rest of what she had. So that, that was my, my um, shopping haul. And then yesterday um, I had to go and pick up the littlest cake. Um, she's gluten-free. And there's a store here called Nothing Bunt Cake. And they do a gluten-free chocolate chip bunt cake that is the most delicious thing I have ever, like, 
for real, I would almost choose that cake over some of their other cakes. It is so moist and delicious and she loves it, thank goodness. And so we've been getting it for her for years, like literally years. I'm kind of afraid that nothing bun cake will, you know, like fingers crossed they stay in business because um, she loves that cake. She asks for that cake every year for her birthday. And, um, and it is, it's so, it's so good. It is so good. And so anyways, I had to go out to Issaquah, um, to pick her cake up and, um, you know, do a little shopping. Well, on the way is a dollar store and as well as, um, a Goodwill. And so I went into the Goodwill and had a look at some stuff and, um, what did I get in there? I bought a frame. I bought one frame. And, um, I got something else, but then I went into like the craft area and I think I scored, I'm not entirely sure, but I got three packages of sulky threads. They're not 12 weight. They're the 40, the 40 weight. Is that what it is? It's a sewing one, right? Um, but there's, there was, so, there was three packs, seriously, three packs and they're all like different colors. And um, I do have a sewing machine and I'm hoping at some point I'll learn how to sew. <laughs> but in the meantime, I got some sulkies to do it. They were $2.99 a bag, you guys. Like, I mean, just a, a thingy of that is what, a dollar, dollar sixty nine. I, I don't remember. Anyways, $2.99, how many is in a, in a bag? Like 12, 15, something like that, maybe even 20. $2.99. Some of these have been used and um, don't have a lot on them. And most of them are brand new. And I'm like, um, yes, please. Yes, please. So I picked up the three bags that they had. I was pretty, pretty proud of myself. And that, I mean, honestly, that's, I mean, I've been working. Um, Got to get it out and start the second level of the garden and then start edging out uh, the next part that I want done. And yeah, I mean, that's, that's really been kind of all that we have. So what I want to do, um, is spotlight on a stitcher. Um, the spotlight on a stitcher, uh, this came as a recommendation, um, in my feed and, uh, her name is rainy day, rainy day reads. Her name's rainy. And she had already started a YouTube video on um, books. You know, she she does uh, she does books. <laughs> and then during COVID um, in October, I think she said she started back into stitching. She had done it like in high school, and then um, a friend of hers. Uh, uh, introduced her to uh, floss tube and uh, stitching again. And so, she, you know, cause we can't go anywhere, do anything. And so she bought a kit. I, I believe she said she bought her first kit off of Amazon. Now she's so funny because she says things like, you know, I don't have as much stash as everybody else and, and whatever. And I'm like, oh girl, I'll give you time. Don't worry, don't worry. Cause floss tube will lead you down some rabbit holes. <laughs> don't worry, Rainy, you'll get there. <laughs> but what she is doing is um, a couple of beautiful full, full coverage pieces. Um, oh, I don't remember the name of the uh, Etsy store, but go check out her video. She's got two. And what she is doing, the very first YouTube or floss tube that she did, it was just a floss tube. And she showed you um, the full coverage piece that she's working on, which is an Alice with a uh, flamingo, Alice and flamingo. It's super cute. And, um, and then she showed, she's doing stitch sania. She kind of got into floss too because of stitch mania and decided to start videos because of that. So she's joining stitch mania, but she's doing the stitch sania part of it. And, um, and she's going to do like a Lindy's stitch, 
yeah, a Lindy Stitches pattern. And I think her goal was if she did 200 stitches each day, that would give her a page finish at the end of the month. I mean, at the end of the week. And if she could do that by the end of the week, she would, or Friday, she would treat herself to starting a new pattern um, on the weekend, which I thought was really, really cute. And um, so now she's got two videos up and she's incorporating her book reading and, or book review and, um, and floss tube in the videos and she tells you in her description below if you're not interested in the book reading she tells you um at what point you know she starts the um, crafting part so that that was um it was really it was very interesting to see uh something that i have never seen before like that alice and flamingo is so cute it is so cute my granddaughter would love it along with the second piece that she showed and I don't remember the name of that either I mean you guys know I barely remember what I'm doing so <laughs> oh my goodness um okay well I think that that is all I need to go up and stir the sauce and um and give it another taste test because Yes, it's so good, you guys. It is so good. If you could smell my house right now, mm, 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 mm. it's so good. <laughs> all right. Well, I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Uh, if you are celebrating with family or they were doing something with you, for you, for you. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, have a really wonderful weekend. And uh, I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.